Well, let's talk about the four levels or stages of enlightenment. Once again, I've already made a video about this, but it was three years ago and uh, I was kind of lame back then. So now we're going to do it again and I'm going to make sure that you guys care about the levels of awakening. Okay. Now in the Buddhism, enlightenment is called nirvana. Okay. Nibbana in Pali. That means unbinding or extinguishing. You're extinguishing the karmic self, which is a false being. Okay. It's not like you're you're, you're destroying something that's real. Now, it is real in, in that it exists. Like, we see it, we experience it, but it's not, like, fundamentally real. It's just a temporary illusion of self that we carry until we achieve gnosis. Now, nibbana is one good term for it. The deathless is another good one, as well as the unfabricated. A sankata datu. That's what you need to know starting off. These terminologies. Good. Now you know them. Okay, so the four levels of that. Now, the, the goal of Buddhism is to reach this, this dissolution of the karmic self, right? We want to enter the deathless so that we have permanent happiness and fulfillment and no longer feel stress and suffering ever again. Now, a second reason we want to do it is to eliminate rebirth. We want to exit samsara. We don't want to be bugs and deer anymore. We don't want to be hungry ghosts or hell beings. And if we're really astute, we don't even want to be devas because we're like, oh, you know, even pleasure is transient. So therefore, we don't even want that. You know, that's how you can get refined like that. Some people, you know, maybe if you're a Buddhist. So that's the name of the goal. And those are why we want to reach the goal, right? So now it's important to realize it's not just a one-off experience most of the time. And it was for the Buddha. It was for the Buddha. Keep this in mind. When you read his enlightenment story, there's no levels mentioned. He's not like, oh, and then I attained the first degree and the second degree. It's just the effluence, the asavas came to an end. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's it. And so you don't have to go through all of them to reach complete nirvana. But it probably does happen most of the time that you do have some kind of progression. Okay, and so let's start off with level number one. Level number one is called stream entry. Sotapati. Sotapati. You're a sotapana if you're the person, the stream winner, okay? And now, the importance of this is A, you've entered the stream to complete awakening. It's definitely going to happen sooner or later, whether in this lifetime or a maximum of seven more rebirths, either in a human realm or in a deva realm, some kind of nice existence, okay? So it won't be in any realm of woe. Like, you can't be an enlightened dog, so you're not going to... You can't develop yourself as a dog. The second point on stream entry is that it's synonymous with possessing the Eightfold Path completely. All of the factors of right mindfulness, right everything, they only become right when you achieve the first level of awakening at minimum. Before that, you're just practicing them. Okay, so now you possess. You're the stream winner. So there's two kind of connotations there. Next level is Sakadagami, and this means once returner. So if you don't achieve nirvana after that, then you only have one more rebirth left in a salubrious realm. Is that the right term? Salubrious, I think so. Auspicious, an auspicious realm. Okay, and like I said in the Sungyo Jana videos and my first video, there's actually an underlying structure to these levels where you're breaking certain chains of existence, some primordial chains, okay? So it's not just a random like attributions. There's like a, there's things that you're doing, okay? The strength of your concentration and your wisdom is going to determine how deep you go into these levels when you attain that first taste of the deathless. The third level is called anagami. It means non-returner. It means you're not going to return to the realms of the physical ever again if you die and don't attain nirvana. So, so you go, what you do go to is called the pure abodes and there's five grades of the pure abodes. And I imagine that which one you go to depends on if you've broken any of the five higher Sangyo Jana fetters or not. But I'm not completely sure on that. I haven't seen any literature to like confirm that, but it seems to be supported by the fact that there's five of each, five pure abodes, five mental chains. So the Anagamis breaks the fourth and fifth chains of of attraction and repulsion, aversion and sensual desire. Okay, so then the last level is called Arahant. 
Arahant, it means worthy one. So this is complete enlightenment. This is what the Buddha achieved. At this level, you attain complete extinguishing. The karmic self is gone. All trace of duality is gone within you. You basically become the entire universe, which is what you always were and always have been since the beginning. We've only been imagining that it has been otherwise this entire time. So that's the whole journey of the soul, is to, <laughs> to, to burn away, burn away and transcend this imagined temporary self. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to return to joy and never want to feel stress and pain again. We never want to wander for lifetimes and lifetimes through oppressive conditions. If you want to get there, it's something you've really got to want. And so, yeah, the um, Arahantship, you break through the five highest fetters and then you're done. You've broken the ten chains of existence and you're free at last. You've retained extinguishing, unbinding. And so, thanks for watching, guys. This is my updated video on the four levels of awakening four levels of enlightenment, four stages of enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. And um, I'll see you next time. Enjoy the Christmas scenery. Let's go. Let's do this. Peace out. Okay, once again, I have to stress the enjoyable Christmas ambiance that I'm surrounded by right now. Like, look at this lighting. Even this lighting looks like a Yankee candle. Like the, you know, the walkthrough one that you can, it's in like Western Massachusetts, you can meet Santa Claus and go find toys and